At the moment, there are no nuclear weapons on the territory of Belarus, Ukrainian Reserve Major General Viktor Yagun stated on air at Radio NV. Now they have prepared the base to receive it. It is completely ready. They have completely updated it. It is not far from Minsk. What is characteristic is that this distance is also quite close to the border with Ukraine. If you really want to, you can get there even with the means that we have. But at the same time, this base has been restored. There is security there, not only Belarusian, but also Russian. Whether there are tactical nuclear weapons there, no one confirms. But everyone understands that according to the protocol, how it should be used, the Belarusians clearly do not have access to it, Yagun said. He also commented on the CIA's information that Russia could use nuclear weapons in 2022 when the defense forces were conducting a counter-offensive operation. In particular, Yagun explained where Western intelligence agencies get information about Russia's preparations for such operations. You need to have sources in the environment where nuclear scientists work. You need to have sources who serve in the strategic deterrence forces. And you certainly need to have sources in the government which ensures the functioning of this mechanism. If there is such information, it is verified from different sources. They may have different access. But if it coincides in general, then this information is considered objective, Yagun added. Recently, CIA Director William Burns said that there was a real risk that Putin could use nuclear weapons against Ukraine in the 2022. He added that at the end of 2022, he met with the head of Russian intelligence, Narishkin, in Turkey, where he threatened consequences for a possible nuclear strike. Meanwhile, Interesting Engineering conducted a study and found that the US could destroy all of Russia and China's nuclear launch sites in two hours. The report noted that the US and its allies' advantage in weapons and strike capabilities could cause fear in Russia and China and could already be fueling an arms race. Iran has supplied Russia with several hundred short-range ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal reported citing senior American and European officials. One of the sources specified that the weapons had already arrived in Russia. Also, according to him, Tehran intends to continue supplying shells to Moscow. Iran has sent short-range ballistic missiles to Russia, giving Moscow another powerful military tool to use in its war against Ukraine. The move follows stern warnings from the West not to supply the weapons to Moscow, the article says. The transfer of Iranian missiles coincided with an intensification of shelling of civilian infrastructure in Ukraine by the Russian army. The attacks have killed dozens of civilians since late August. The West has previously warned Iran that additional sanctions would be imposed if it supplied missiles to Russia. European officials told the publication that they are currently working on a sanctions response with their American colleagues. Since the West knew that Iran was going to supply Russia with ballistic missiles, preparatory work on restrictive measures began in the summer. The sanctions are expected to affect a number of Iranian companies and individuals involved in arms transfers to Moscow, including transport companies. The new restrictions will also ban Iran Air, the Iranian national carrier, from flying to European airports. A White House spokesman commented on reports of Iran preparing or already begun deliveries of short-range ballistic FAF-360 to Russia. National Security Council spokesman Sean Savet did not directly confirm that the delivery had already taken place. Any transfer of Iranian ballistic missiles to Russia would represent a dramatic escalation of Iran's support for Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Reuters quotes Savet as saying, Another agency source, this time anonymously said, Washington was keeping a close eye on potential shipments. Iran has transferred hundreds of drones to Russia during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to people speaking on condition of anonymity, but the potential transfer of ballistic missiles would be a worrying development in the war. Iran is one of Russia's closest allies. Tehran has provided Moscow with thousands of Shahed kamikaze drones since the start of the full-scale war, and the two nations continue to deepen their military and political cooperation.